What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I appreciate the love and the subscribers. It means a lot to me. To the new viewers that's coming on to my page, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. It'll help the channel grow. I appreciate it. Much love. Uh, I'm about to jump straight into the topic. Uh, when a woman hurt a good man. Uh, when, a, when a woman hurts a good man. The, what's running through a man's mind after he done did everything right, be a, been a gentleman, you know, treated her right, did everything right. What you done did was what these women don't realize is they create dogs and demons and hoes and all of that shit and above. And they always wondering why they can't find a decent dude. It's because you done went around damaging some of these dudes. Not saying all women are bad women. There's some decent women out there saying like it's bad men out there. But coming from my experiences in life and dealing with women or, you know, dealing with a woman, uh, a woman can really damage a man. Depending on the situation, he because me and we simple. And when we, when, when we really like a person, we would try our hardest to make them happy. Simple things make us happy. I don't give a fuck if it's a pack of socks with some beer oil and some cheap-ass cologne. We don't care about that. What we care about is a genuine connection, somebody that's going to love us for who we is and not what we could do or provide. Because really... That comes later on in the relationship. See, now these women is asking for it up front, like, like, like they, uh, like we done took a loan from them and we owe them something. We both got something that we that that we need. You got what I need. I got what you need. Uh, my point is, women think it's okay to go around damaging men, and then later on in life, they don't think they gonna suffer consequences in the end. And what I mean by that is like. They might want to find somebody good. They might not be able to. They might have somebody just as bad or worse than them. They don't realize they are a reflection of themselves. And God usually sends somebody just like you or worse. I know from my experience, I had somebody sweet, like sweet as a potato pie, man. I mean, you can you can cuss this girl out and she just she was so sweet. Me, on the other hand, I was the aggressive one. Not saying I was an abuser or none of that shit. She was just so soft. And at that time, I didn't understand what that... I'm like, man, I want this girl to be, you know, top down, not aggressive hood. You know, that's what I thought it was cool to be around at that time. And as time went on, that shit got old in the motherfucker. I got tired, you know, I got tired of dealing with girls with fucked up attitudes, always want something, always need something. Uh, you know, that, that shit get old after a while. Because eventually you want maturity in your life. You you don't want nobody that's always. We all want that ghetto ratchet shit to a certain extent. We don't know me wrong. Not everybody, but that's just me. We don't want no. We don't want that shit twenty four seven. That shit is a turn off. And on top of that, top of that, a hood ratchet chick that ain't got no job, ain't got no motion. Come on, man. And I, and, and I always tell guys. My, my pops always told me stay. Stay away from them type of females. Because them females are how you jammed up. And don't get one pregnant. Lord have mercy. You're going to go through some shit. I know some dudes that done went through some shit. Or are still going through some shit. Get one of them bras pregnant, man. Because at the end of the day, they, you got to think. A lot of them come from nothing. And if they can take from you and drain you. Or they don't want to see you with somebody else. They're going to do whatever they can to make sure you ain't happy. But I'm getting off topic anyway. But yeah, man. Um. Women that damage good men are, uh, yeah, that uh, damage good men, all they doing is turning them into demons. Because a lot of these men, when a man's heart get broken, we got to go through our trials and tribulations. So we're going to go through the trial of hating women, and then we're going to go through the trial of being a hoe. We're going to go through the trial of fucking everything. Then eventually we learn... Some men don't learn, but eventually you'll learn, like, I want somebody that's meant for me if I if that's, if that's something I want to do, and I'm not doing the chasing no more. 
they gonna come to me. I'm not looking no more. I'm gonna enjoy why I'm gonna enjoy my single life while I can. And if something beautiful come along, and she another thing, fellas, she gotta work for you too, man. That's another thing. She has to work for you. She you 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 cannot be doing everything. What I mean is she gotta be wanting your time, your energy. She be, she should be texting you in the morning. She should be wanting your attention. Um, you should not be giving her all the attention because most likely if you do that, either another guy's doing the same thing or eventually you're going to run her off. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. Uh, when you give a woman too much attention, they they already hit already. Some of these women heads already be swelled up anyway. You got to act like it ain't nothing. That We all want the golden, golden prize down there, but you got to like that shit is nothing. Which is not, personally. It, you could get it anywhere and everywhere. But you got to make them look like they normal people. They shit, piss, cry. They do everything we do. Except they got more. God made them for them, for who, for who they is. And they God made us for who we is. We are stronger uh, physically in every way. We are meant to take a pounding. Them... Not so much. They can, but mentally, they more mentally uh, stronger than us when it comes to emotions. We are logical. We think simple. They they would go outside the box, in the box, who built the box, all that shit. But yeah, man, uh, women that damage good men, like I said, all y'all doing is turning men into demons. And that's, especially nowadays, that's all women want is uh, material things and I want to build this and it's about your career and all of this but if we came at them like that uh, what you do for a living like if, it were, if men really made it about money they'd be in a shithole because a lot of women don't make that much money out here it's a handful of women that make good money make over six figures and and you call them career women that's already stuck up, and then you know, you know, they they feel like you got to be on their status or above to date them or whatever. But whatever, whatever floats your boat. But if we made it just strictly about money, they would they would lose because a lot of these women don't got money. They just got beauty and looks. I'm not trying to bash women, and I ain't no here to disrespect women. This is just my opinion, just like y'all can give y'all's. Uh, if most likely women, if it weren't for their looks and shit and their bodies, they wouldn't have shit else to offer. Most women don't have shit to offer a man, but fucking problems. And when we try to find somebody to love us, or love, or, you know, a man trying to find somebody to love you. I know when a man trying to find somebody to love him, it's too difficult. Women got to go here. You got to spend this. And that don't, don't even talk about the amount of money you got to spend on a motherfucker that you ain't going to get back. They ain't even spending that much money on a man. I'm not saying it's not, it's not none out there. It probably is. There's some decent women with their head on straight. But that's why I made that last video, man. You don't never give 20, 30. You, only, you save some of that shit to your, your, yourself. You don't never give 100% to somebody, man. But what these women do is cause it's like an affection right it's like a disease it's like a it's like once once it get affected it starts spreading and that's all it's doing especially nowadays and men is starting to catch on in my opinion these women nowadays is not shit you got men that ain't shit too because there's some men out there that ain't shit dog ass dudes but you got women that's starting to turn into men and they starting to become not shit for whatever fucking reason. Whether they following each other, whether they following a trend, whether they just in their own bubble. Because a lot of women be in their own little bubble up here. And once uh, once they when, some, when something happens, that's when they want to get back in line. But some of these women don't realize sometimes it'd be too late. It, it'd be too late for them. And they got to stick to what their lifestyle is. is going out to the clubs, looking half naked, uh, going out with your friends, or... You arguing back and forth with your with, with her girlfriend because she can't be out too long because she got a man at home. So now she's jealous. Like it could go on and on and on. But like I said, man, these women just don't. They like I said, they these women don't realize what they doing and causing. It's like the word won't get around. If I see a girl down the street, most likely 
and she decent looking and I'm talking to people or whatever, she's they gonna talk. And when a man get his heart broken by one, he gonna eventually vent. If we get silent, but that's just all you doing is turning that man into a beast. And he gotta go through his trials and tribulations and probably break a few women hearts down the road because of something you did. Some of these women are hoes probably because of a heartbreak from a, a, you know, from a relationship that they put they all in. But what it boils down to, as time go on, is a motherfucker that's going to have respect, loyalty, and honesty with you. Because all that shit that you're doing now is going to die down eventually. Some of these women need social media to make them feel good. Women are insecure in their own little way. Whether it's about their toe, their ass, their stomach, their skin, their hair, their teeth, their eyes, whatever the fuck it is, they're going to be insecure in some shape or form. So if they can make themselves feel good, I don't give a fuck if her booty is flat as a pancake. Um, Like, it's this, it's this woman at work, ass flat as a pancake. But all these older guys at work be do- be on her like a fucking dog. To me, I'd be like, mm, mm, mm. That's why she acts that way. Because all these old dudes ain't got shit else to do at home. And they that's all they see. So it, it, it'd be like, quit giving these women all this validation and it would stop. I'm not, in the, I'm not like I said, I'm not against women at all. But if women stop getting all this validation from these suckers, shit would die down. If they lower social media down a little bit, not saying like take it away, but just, you know, be more strict on what could be on on social media. Because, you know, a man created OnlyFans. Men created porn. But we ain't going to go that deep in that topic. That would be another topic for a different day. But the point is, when you validate something, it's going to keep growing. It's like watering a fucking a super growing plant. It's going to keep growing. You're going to keep giving it sunlight. It's going to grow. But eventually, it's going to burn out, too, because it's getting too much validation. You feel me? So eventually, when you do come and meet this girl, her head is she, she already so filled with so many compliments and all this bullshit. It's nothing to her. But that's why I say, man, you got to ignore these women. That's the big, biggest thing to pull a woman to. Ignore some of these women. I like they ain't even there. I don't give a fuck if she look like, got a body like Beyonce and a face like Rihanna. Uh, no, I take that back. She got a body like Nicki, Nicki Minaj and got the face of uh, Ice Spice. Ignore that hoe. And I bet you she going to be like, man, why is everybody looking at me but him? It's going to catch her attention. But yeah, man, my point is, Women don't realize what they're doing when they damage good men. And all they're doing is fucking it up for the next woman. So women, quit blaming men. Maybe you should blame some of you. Blame your home girl. Blame your, your best friend. Blame blame your sister. Blame, blame the girls that's going around breaking these men's hearts. Because at the end of the day, we don't blame the men for breaking y'all heart. We might blame y'all for having kids with the wrong motherfucker, but we ain't God. You feel me? So we, we keep pushing. And we try to love you as one. You know, back in the day, they try to love single mothers, but single mothers done made it too difficult to love them. And you want us to take care of your kids, love your kids, love you, put up with all this bullshit, put up with my own personal shit. And then on top of that, I might have my own kids I got to come with. Fuck no. If you ain't nothing special, and, you know, like I said, nothing against single mothers, but, like, if you took care of your own kids with solid, loyal, love, and take care of your kids, me, and love my kids as I love yours, then that'd be cool. But nowadays, these women, too, they feel too entitled to shit. But that's just my opinion, man, because like I said, I ain't on here to bash nobody. And don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. If y'all got any suggestions, drop it in the comments and we could talk about it. Like I said, I just come on here and be my genuine self. I don't try to act or front for nobody. I ain't never been that type of dude. But yeah, man. That's 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 just my opinion, man. Uh, when a woman breaks a man's heart, a good man's heart at that, all you doing is turning this dude into uh, Mr. Tyrone. He coming out here slanging shit. He out here flexing on shit. He out here taking shit. And next thing you know, 
he might settle down later on down the road, or he might not never do it. Because nowadays, men get tired of women. You might as well go to the strip club and pay for some ass. You get a, you, some of these strippers got bigger asses than some of these average women. Got way better bodies and way more freaky. Some of these women, and they ain't even freaks. They walking around like they can. My point is, these women just need to tone down a little bit and try to love themselves and love a man as as him. Now, if you choose to love a uh, love a dirt bag and a broke ass bum, that is your fault. So every guy you meet ain't a broke ass bum. I done came across girls like, yeah, my baby daddy, he ain't did shit for me. Woo 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 woo. And but you think you you think you could give me a hundred? Hell no. Hell no. What the fuck did you do for me? I gave you a good conversation and advice. What makes you think I'm going to give you some money? No. Is you going to give me some money? I got kids too, motherfucker. Y'all crazy as hell. The hell? I got responsibilities too. I'm a, I'm a dad just like you a mom, motherfucker. The hell? I need a break too, damn it. The fuck? I'm spending money too. It ain't just about single mothers and y'all kids. We dad, we're dads. It's real active dads out this motherfucker doing their part and shit. And y'all got the nerd time about... Oh, can let me hold some motherfucker. Let me hold some shit, so so I can uh, polish my rims on my car when I uh, come drop my goddamn kid off or something. God damn, that just me rambling on or whatever. But off the dome or whatever, man. But yeah, man, that's just my opinion. Like I said for the third time, uh, women don't realize they just create monsters, boy. That guy you call ugly, weak, uh, broke, most likely, is gonna light a fire underneath his ass. I can't, I can't sit around broke. I wish a, I wish a bitch would call me broke. You know what I'm saying? And I work my ass off, and they be having a nerve to be like you broke, and uh, they ain't got no goddamn money. They ain't, they ain't got shit. They be the women that be talking the most shit. Ain't got no motion. Because you done fucked a decent dude in the city that got a little bit of paper. You think you somebody. No, sweetie. You just open your legs and let him crack. Well, do I feel some way about you not letting me crack? Fuck no, because it's probably somebody way better than you. It's always somebody better than the next person. That's when, when these women open their mind to that, uh, they'll understand that your man can get took from you too. Just like your woman can. But... Man, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. Uh, I'm out. If y'all got any suggestions, drop it in the comments. Appreciate it.